weekend when many pools were open, a new report reveals a disturbing trend when it comes to children in Indiana and the wet water. The number of children dying due to lack of supervision is on the rise, including kids not being supervised around pools, bathtubs, and lakes. Call 6 investigator Kara Kinney has been digging through that report and joins us now with what's causing concern. Kara? That's right. The Indiana Department of Child Services just released their child fatality report for state fiscal year 2013. It shows 14 children died from drowning in that time frame, making it the number one contributor in child neglect deaths in Indiana. <laughs> The water is a spot for summer fun and relaxation, but for children especially, it can be deadly. Can you swim? Yeah. Which is why mom, Jonna Cartwright, takes precautions with her seven and four-year-olds. We just kind of keep an eye on them, keep them in water that they're able to stand up in. Jonna knows it only takes a moment for a child to drown. He doesn't really go in water that he's um, it, that's any higher than his shoulders by any means without a parent right there. We just we, we don't feel that comfortable with him in the water. A new report from the Indiana Department of Child Services shows an increase in children dying due to lack of supervision by water, ponds, creeks, bathtubs, creeks, and pools. Like a two-year-old who died while on a boating trip with family, DCS substantiated a case of child neglect against both parents. Many Indianapolis outdoor pools open tomorrow. Safety is our utmost priority at an Indy Parks pool. We have staffed, certified lifeguards. But lifeguards are no substitute for parental supervision. If uh, your toddler is uh, in the pool, we want the parent in the pool with the child, and we want them within arm's length reach of that child. The guards are there for everyone at the pool, but your child is still your responsibility. Swimming lessons are available for an affordable price for all ages. It's extremely important to be a strong swimmer. It will take you through, it's a life skill. When you're an adult and you want to go fishing or canoeing or on a whitewater raft trip, you want to be a confident and strong, capable swimmer. And this report also found that 49 children died from abuse and neglect in 2013. Seven had a prior history with DCS. Risk factors include unemployment, low income, substance abuse, and domestic violence. I'm Call 6 investigator Kara Kenny.